Tony and Sharin, these brutal temperatures have forced organizers to open a second cooling center up in northern Sacramento. This one right here is on 27th and J. They've even extended the days that they're going to have it open from 1 to 8 tomorrow, and we could possibly see it open on Friday. That's because they want people to know they have somewhere to go. The scorching heat bearing down across the valley is turning deadly. I just think that it's it's awfully sad. An 88-year-old woman found dead outside her South Sacramento County home during midday heat. She was loved by a lot of people, and uh, you know certainly there's um, a lot of people that are going to certainly miss her. It's one of three possible hyperthermia cases being investigated by the Sacramento County Coroner. A 36 and 49 year old man were also found dead outside in excessive heat for an unknown period of time. Excessive heat can be extremely dangerous. So keeping your body cool, staying hydrated, drinking lots of water throughout the day is incredibly important. Public health officials are urging people to keep an eye on vulnerable neighbors. If you have a loved one who's older or someone who's in one of those high risk groups, reach out to them, make sure that they have a plan for staying cool over the next several days. In response, the city and county have opened cooling centers in Midtown and North Sacramento for people and their pets. Certainly people are really hot and tired, um, often just come in and lay down to take a nap. Officials urge people to stay out of the heat, but it's unrealistic for those around Sacramento who have to make a living. I feel bad. You know, for the farmers and such around here, well, you know, you have to work when you have to work. A rough winter for so many and a brutal way to kick off the summer. And the cause of death is only preliminary at this point. An autopsy could take up to four to six weeks to find out if they, in fact, died because of this excessive heat. Again, it's going to be hot tomorrow. Be sure to seek shelter. Yeah, the sad lingering effects. Jen, thanks.